Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we are talking about Odin 2. Now, Odin, in addition to being one of the five gods that everybody knows about, is also an audio plugin, specifically something called a VST. I think that's for Virtual Studio Technology. Essentially, this is a standard interchange format among DAWs, or digital audio workstations, for creating virtual instruments, essentially. And uh, Odin 2 is a synth instrument for doing exactly that. So here we are at the uh, website, available at wavewarden forward slash Odin 2. Of course, I will have that linked in the linked article down below. This is a 24 voice polyphonic beast that will take, you, take your studio to Valhalla. Of course, Valhalla being the... Um, uh, heaven of the Norse gods, of which Odin, Odin is the leader of the Pantheon, if you happen to be one of those people that it isn't part of their five gods you know list. Uh, Odin's got them all. Use the classic sounds of analog waveforms or draw your own. High quality emulations of legendary analog filters like the Moog Ladder or the Korg 35. Further shape your signal around your sound off with four onboard FX or get crazy with modulation. Now, gotta warn you right up front, we are going to go hands-on with Odin 2. And if you're a regular to this channel, you know what that means. Your ears are going to bleed. I have an audio deficiency, I think we will call that, but it doesn't stop me from trying. So if you're interested, Odin gets really regular releases, actually, and there was one just a little while back. Uh, it's available for Windows, Mac, Linux, and Linux for generic people. I think that might have a different meaning, but hey, I'm gonna go with that. Uh, manual is available for download. Basically, it's also an open source program, and this one is built on another project that I'm going to cover at some point in time, I think. It's, it's a little on the niche for this channel, but there's a project out there called Juice, and Juice is for making musical apps. So Odin is written on top of Juice. Now, the cool thing about both projects is they are open source available on GitHub. I will link the details about both of them. So first we've got Odin 2. It is under the GPL3 license. Uh, that's fine for applications like this. You'll notice it is very actively under development. The most recent commit was 22 hours ago, for example. And Juice, the Juice framework, is also available. Uh, the source code's online. It is C++ based for doing things like creating VSTs, VST3s, and so on. So uh, that is all that we are dealing with. I will again give you links on both those. And let me know if you're interested in a specific video on Juice, because Juice is kind and, uh, it's on the fringe of what I cover here on this channel. So it is time for some ear bleeding. Now, as I mentioned earlier on off the hop, you need to have a DAW or digital audio workstation in order to work with this guy. Now I've covered a number on this channel. Uh, in the past, for free options, you can get something like LMMS, uh, great DAW. Uh, one of the problems with it is it kind of it ships with a lack of instruments. So there's where this uh, really could come in handy. Something like Odin 2 is a great uh, companion to LMMS. Also, there is Reaper. That is not completely free, but it is available basically free to start. Uh, excellent DAW as well. And I'm actually using a commercial one, Mixcraft 9. This was featured in a Humble Bundle sometime in the past. To be honest, this is the one that clicked with me, and I already have it installed. So that's what I'm going to use it for. But there are a number of other ones out there, FL Studio, um, so on and so forth. I'm slowly covering more DAWs on this channel as we kind of breach into the audio side of things. But that's not really what we're here about. We're here about the VST. Now, you just install it. There is an installer. And every one of these programs will basically scan for them. So you can see here, I've got an acoustic piano track as part of the default. I'm gonna switch that out to something different. So you notice here, I'm just switching the instrument out and I'm gonna locate uh, the VSTI instrumentation. So this is our virtual music stuff. And we've got other ones I've gotten some previous uh, Humble Bundles, etc. things like Lounge Lizard and so on. Uh, but what we are looking for today is Odin. As you can see, Odin is a v VST3, and here we are in Odin. That has got the user interface zoomed double time. I will do that, but you'll notice there's a little bit of blurriness. Actually, you know what? I'll go with the 100% here. So this is Odin 2 in action. This is basically a synth mod. Once you're in here, you can actually uh, you can shut this down if you want, but one thing that we're going to probably want to do is let's do some musical typing. So we're bringing up a keyboard. Now I'll shut that down. All right, so here we go. So back here in our DAW, we can start recording our track right here, and then we can use this musical keyboard to play the sound we are generating using Odin 2. So here's where your ears start to bleed. So we're not too bad so far. We can shift down a couple octaves. I think I actually just went up. And then here, this one's to piss off your dog. And we go the opposite direction. 
Mm. Okay, so that's what we're starting with. I'll start somewhere in the middle here, and we'll start playing around with what Odin is all about. So you've got here, uh, okay, I, I don't even pretend to really know how to use these things. I'm not a musician. It is not my strong suit. So basically for me, it mostly boils down to uh, trial and error. So we've got a set of oscillators here. We've got three of them going on, and you can see different waveforms being done. So we got a saw wave, I think, a square wave, and so on. So I do something like that. And you're going to immediately notice a difference. And so on. So play with them until you get a sound you like. You're going to notice you've got controls over here. Uh, fine control. And off you go. We've also could set up a low pass filter. So the frequency to cut that off. There you go. Immediately get a result. Or we can come in here and start adding new oscillators. So let's say we want to do a uh, chip tune. So let's actually do a chip. Oh, so we'll start with a chip tune oscillator right here. So now you're going to get kind of we're going back to the world of yeah you know 8-bit 16-bit kind of audio sound generally is what you get from the chip tune world another cool thing we can do is actually come in here and do a chip draw uh, and now we can actually draw the waveform that we wish to work with and we get a much different effect we've got amplifier control over here we can add some distortion in uh, we've got a second filter over here that we can add in, high pass, low pass, uh, comb filter, ring modulator, and so on. Let's do a band pass 12. And now we're... I promised you ear bleeding. We're getting into the ear bleeding at this point in time. At any particular time, by the way, you can reset your synthesizer back to normal. Uh, we've got... Uh, Filter environment, global like mixers available down here, uh, and then kind of getting into you know I, I'm not the person to describe what all the rest of this crap is for because again I am not a music guy. Uh, so we got delay controls over here. Uh, let me turn that back down because that's actually pretty awful. All right, so we've got feedback, ping ponging, HP ducking. Let's just let's just mess with everything here. Dry and wet. Like so. And then anything we want, we can actually get rid of things as well. So if we want to just go back to our chip draw only, there, or we can make any edit at any time we want. And that is, in a nutshell, what Odin 2 is all about. Again, when you drop and add all these in, there's where you've got all of your various different oscillators available to you. Um, again, you've got these uh, various different, so you can emulate the Korg that they were talking about earlier on, get a, a sound effect that you're getting from other devices. We can Again, turn, I didn't turn them on. All right, so there is our phaser turned on. We can control our phaser. So that's my Xmas music instruments. Also, because it's phaser, it's going to keep playing forever. And at this point in time, if you've got a sound you particularly like, let me just get rid of the phaser, by the way. Let's put chorus on instead. Uh, you want to go ahead and start recording your track. Hit record. Start playing. We're a polka party right now. And there. And we're done. And we'll go out of here, and we'll go back. There is our lovely track we created. Just one instrument on it. And it's a polka party. Awesomeness. All right, so in a nutshell, well, so I let that, let that phase out of existence. There we go, we're all done. So in a nutshell, that is Odin 2. Basically, a uh, synth studio VST, plug it into your um, you know, DAW of choice and start making music. If you are looking for uh, VSTs to get, this one is definitely a popular one. It is open source, it is well documented, and it is improved constantly. So that's what actually brought me to my attention recently. Uh, version 2.24 was just released a, a little while back. But you see here we got uh, we got quite a few updates on this guy, and this is actually the second revision of it, because as you can see, there is an Odin one as well. Entirely donation-based software, so if you're interested, you like what you see, go on in, give them a donation. Uh, but yeah, completely free instrumentation. Also let me know, again, the world of audio isn't really my, um, my playground, so if you have other suggestions for uh, popular free tools like this, especially like in the VST space that you should think I should showcase to other game developers, uh, do let me know them in the comments down below. Below, and let me know what you think of Odin 2 in general. And finally, let me know just 
just how much blood is currently trickling down your ears. In all honesty, I don't think I was as painful as I have been in some of these previous videos, but I still do try my best to make your life as miserable as possible when it comes to these audio things. And again, this is hosted, so if you're completely new to the music side of things, you are going to need a DAW. Uh, I've covered a few of them in the past, things like Reaper, LMMS, um, and what we just looked at today, Synth Studio. I will throw some of those links down below too. So if you're looking for a DAW to host your VST or your virtual studio, uh, technology, whatever, your instruments. Uh, I, I will have a few suggestions down below as well. And uh, yeah, let me know what you thought and I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.